anxiety, and how to tame them. We have all been here before. During the darkest hours of the COVID-19 pandemic, the strict limitations created an uneasy set of feelings. As we were locked inside our homes, we worried about the well-being of our parents and relatives inside theirs. We feared that our boss could fire us at any moment's notice because of the worsening economy. Even now, when the light at the end of this pandemic tunnel is already seen, we haven't completely forgotten the level of anxiety it once caused. Anxiety is a normal part of our life. Even if the pandemic did not happen, we are naturally afraid of bears chasing us while cycling through the woods, nervous when we have to deliver a yearly speech, or defend our thesis in front of high-profile professors, or worry about being on an aeroplane at height. For a healthy person, the feeling will subside as he assesses the situation and decides that he is safe. But for people with anxiety disorder, this feeling is overwhelming, irrational, and long-lasting and perhaps equally the same as in a near-death experience. This disorder is about 50% more prevalent in women than men and can affect any age, starting from six years old. Anxiety has some common forms. Some examples are generalized anxiety disorder. The person with this type of anxiety problem fears normal daily things, such as grades, jobs, finance, or family. But the fear and worry carry on every day for at least six months, affecting job performance, daily activities, and more. The quality of sleep declines sharply, and the patient becomes restless, easily fatigued, and irritable. In addition, the patient suffers poor concentration and occasional absence of mind. Panic disorder. In this type, a person may have a panic attack even without any apparent reason. It triggers symptoms similar to a heart attack, such as racing heart, stomach pain, nausea, and numb hands, and the sufferer may falsely believe so. The patient worries constantly about when the next attack will happen, which disturbs the normal daily activities. This, in turn, creates a tendency to avoid places or situations where the patient underwent the previous attack. A person with a phobia has a specific trigger for his or her anxiety. The phobia or fear is excessively stronger than the actual threat or risk and can happen without foundation at all. It is not only caused by situations such as being at height or narrow places. Flying in a small cabin aircraft is the perfect example for it. But it can also be manifested in ideas such as fear of interaction with people or social phobia or things that have clusters of small holes, known as trypophobia. Separation anxiety disorder is one of the most common disorders in children. This happens when a kid feels really anxious when he is separated from his loved one, like his mum and dad. It is normal for a kid under three years old to cling excessively to his parents. But kids older than three usually do not do that. It can also manifest in having nightmares about separations or fear that his parents may be harmed. Consult with medical professionals to have an accurate assessment because various forms of anxiety can give different impacts from person to person. We will discuss it later along with the signs, causes and treatments for this disorder. Please wait unanxiously.